So you spent the night in your backyard or dark sky site taking images of the night sky. You got them all stacked up, but you're not exactly sure what to do with them. Come join me while I go into Photoshop and I'll show you my process for editing images and bringing out all that great detail. So let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> you're back already. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just wetting my whistle. Anyways, um, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm finally getting around to doing a processing video. Uh, I hope it's going to be good. Um, but uh, I hope I can recreate uh, the the image that I've already processed. Uh, this process, this image, this TIFF file that was uh, brought out of Deep Sky Stacker was given to me by a, uh, a gentleman down in Arizona. Uh, he shared it with me so I could practice my processing. Uh, his name is Isaac. He has a YouTube channel called uh, Iceman Astro. I'll put the link in the description down below. But um, anyways, um, yeah. So in this video, I'm going to try and show you how to go from that image there to that image there now hopefully like I said I can I can recreate that that image there and uh, and yeah let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do it so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, oh first things first when deep sky stacker spits out a tiff file it's in 32-bit now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to image mode and see how it says 32 bits here you're going to want to change that to 16 bits that way it opens up extra um, pr uh, options for processing now you're going to want to go over to here to method and change it from local adaptation ad adaptation to exposure and gamma and see how it drops back down and then just click OK you don't need to touch any of these other things okay so there now we have a image that we can fully edit all right so uh, what I like to do is I like to uh, duplicate this image um, we're going to be working in kind of a, a, a non-destructive workflow so um, so what I like to do is I like to uh, duplicate the image or copy the image and uh, the way to do that is control J creates another layer okay all right so now what we want to do is we want to try and stretch it stretch the data so that it brings out more detail okay so that's going to be our first thing so we're going to go up to image adjustments levels or you can go control l on the keyboard and it brings up the uh it brings up the levels thing here um okay so this slider is okay this little thing here is okay so what you want to do is you want to take the you want to take the middle one and you want to start bringing it in towards the data see how the screen is getting brighter and brighter okay bring it about halfway don't go all the way you want to do it in in increments okay go okay all right um, another thing you might want to do is pull up your histogram and just keep an eye on your histograms these this histogram they should all be in line so right now the blue is in a good spot but the red and the green are kind of off so what we're gonna do is we'll go and do a levels adjustment again go contr uh, uh, control L okay you know how, okay now it says RG, RGB here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mess with the red and we're gonna bring the red back a bit and see how the image changes a little bit but on the histogram the blue and the red now are lined up okay and then we're gonna go to the green same thing we're gonna 
balance out those colors. Uh, right about there. That looks actually maybe a little bit more. There, perfect. Go OK. Now all those all those colors are all nicely lined up. Okay, we'll just put that away. Okay, go uh, Control L again. Bring up your levels. Now we're gonna bring we're gonna bring the contrast back. So now grab this one and you just move it in towards the data. Don't go don't go past the peak. Don't like don't go into the because then you'll be clipping you'll be clipping data. Even though it looks better, you're clipping data and you don't want to do that. So bring it to right about there. Go OK. Now this is going to be a completely fly by the seat of my pants um, kind of editing session. So hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can show you little tips and tricks that you might pick up along the way. I myself, I'm still learning. Even a year into it, there's so much to learn, but I'm still learning. Um, so now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to create another layer. Or if you want to do, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's uh, it's Shift Control Alt E, and it makes another it makes another layer, but the layers di it's different. I forget what they call it but it's just making another layer like an independent layer i guess it's called um so uh so then now i'm going to go and i'm going to do a curve so but what i'm going to do a curve is control m all right so then um what i'm going to do is i want to say i want to bring out a certain part of the nebulosity so i'm just going to click here or uh i think it's Alt click or control click. Yeah, control click. So what it does is it puts a point on the data. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that up a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to click somewhere on, on the dark, a dark area where... Okay, maybe not. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the data itself and I'm going to bring the contrast up a bit. Okay, I just I just learned this trick today, this little trick. But anyway, um, now as you can see, I've brought out a bunch of the nebulosity while bringing up contrast as well. So I've made the image a bit brighter, but I've also retained a lot of that contrast. Okay, so then you're going to go OK. All right. Um, so I'm just going to try and keep it as simple as possible. So instead of making that other layer by Shift, Control, Alt, and E, I'm going to just go Control, J, and make a layer. Another layer. So this is a layer 2. So it does it that Shift, Control, Alt, and E, it makes another layer. It doesn't make a copy, it makes a new layer. So I just copied the other layer. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to just move this out of the way here. All right. Okay, let's keep going. Just give me a second. All right. Uh, I wish that was a beer. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let's 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 check to see how close we're getting. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try and do it as quick as I can and as uh, uh, as short as I can. But anyway, all right. So let's go to uh, bring up our levels again. Okay, see it can still still get brightened. All right, bring it. Yeah, right about there. Okay, check the histogram again. The histogram still looks good. All right, and then bring up levels again. Make sure that goes there. And while we're at it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna select the gray point. That's that little dropper there. So you can just click on different parts 
and see what looks good to you. Uh, I think that looks good. All right. Okay, so now, um, I know a lot of people, they do like layer masks and all that kind of stuff. I haven't really mastered that yet. Um, but uh, so what we can do now is we can start playing around with the colors in the saturation um, to try and bring out that, that all the, the great colors that are in here because all these different areas are all different colors okay so uh, let's go back to our image here uh, right and go up to image adjustments hue and sat saturation or you can go vibrance so let's okay so there is a there is a saturation uh, slider in here okay so you're just going to now this is personal preference play around with all these settings and just find out what you think so look see how the here I'll, I'll put it up to about 50 okay and then see see the difference it's subtle but it's there and then you go vibrance you mess with the vibe you can add more vibrance so I'll do about 30 vibrance see see the difference okay so I like that that looks good that looks good um, <laughs> 10 to 1 we're gonna have a, a totally different looking image from from the one I just showed you and if that's the case hey so be it, it it's all up to personal preference what you think looks good um, now another thing is is you can check to see your you can also check your progress by clicking on the eye there and just it'll turn that layer off and then boom okay so let's go back to uh, let's go back to levels okay let's brighten that a bit bring that up a bit and then set the gray point again okay that looks good all right so now I'm going to do another curve stretch. So I'm going to do another layer. Control J and then Control M. So now you see how the, the data is wider now. So what we can do is I'll Control and click. Actually, you know what? Uh, control Z to undo. Control Z is to undo. So we're just going to play around with it because I want to get the pointer here and then I'll mess with the contrast here. So, nope. Okay, Control Z, Control Z. Alright, so, okay. So now there's the contrast there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring that down. See how it gets darker? And then I'm going to bring this up. Oh, wow. That looks, that looks phenomenal. That looks really good. Okay, but now if you notice, the stars are starting to, the Antares, that's the main star, is starting to get a little blown out. So... I'll just kind of bring that back down a little bit right there. So let's see. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. So then, look, before, after. All right. So we'll do that. Okay. And by the way, if you're uh, if you find any of the content on here uh, useful or informative, um, please I invite you to drop a like, smash that like button. It really helps my channel out. Um, subscribe uh, and comment. It really, really does help my channel out if you do all those things. Like I said, I'm trying to grow my channel, and with me growing my channel, I can bring you more content and you know it's good for everybody all around so uh 
So please, I appreciate your support. And if you can do those things, that would be awesome. So thank you again. Anyways. Oh, thirsty. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, where were we? We just did a curve stretch. Okay, so I'm going to go create another layer. Now I'm probably, people are probably going to watch this that work in Photoshop and they're probably going to say, what the hell is this guy doing? I have my own little workflow. I, I'm not worried about what anybody else does. I know what I know how to do and that what I'm comfortable at doing. So that's what I'm showing you. If you, uh, if you like this, that's awesome. That's great. You know, uh, that's why I'm doing these videos is to try and show you little tips and tricks that I know and that can help you in your processing. But, uh, okay, so let's go in and check the levels again. Okay, all right, so that doesn't need to be stretched anymore. Let's go check the histogram. Histogram's okay, I think, yep. Yeah. All right, so how are we looking compared to the other one? Okay, it's looking a little more on the yellower side, but that's okay. And this star got blown out a little bit, and Terry's got blown out a little bit. And as you can see there, there's a, a globular cluster. That's uh, that's really cool. Um, now, if you're comfortable at stopping here, hey, that's great. But I want to try and bring out a little more detail. So let's uh, let's go Control M again, and I'm going to try and bring out this dust. Okay, it's getting brighter, getting brighter. Okay, another thing is, is you don't want this line hitting the top. If you go like this, there, you're blowing things out and you're, you're just completely destroying your data. So little, little bits at a time, little bits at a time. So you wanna make small adjustments. Okay. Bring the contrast in a bit. Oh wow, yeah, that looks fantastic. That looks really cool. I'm, I'm liking that. How the how the dust lanes are starting to really show up and all that. So there was, there, there was before, and there was after. Like, look at how the nebulosity here is being is being uh, uh, accented or not accented, but um, exaggerated or whatever but anyways uh, Antares is starting to get a little blown out now you can do a layer mask to protect those I'm not sure exactly how to do that so I'm just showing you basic stuff that I do to uh, to edit these images so I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit just to kinda keep on top of that alright so how are we doing here? Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so you know what? For levels and curves and all that, I think we're I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay, so curves, brightness. Okay, so let's go up to levels or image adjustment, brightness and contrast. Okay, so this is just going to play with the darks and how bright it is. So let's just play around with it and see what we like. Okay, I like it a little more contrasty. Try and bring up the brightness a little bit. Maybe around 10. There, and do this one about 20. There. So there, there was before, there's after. See, little, little subtle changes make a very big impact when it comes to astronomy images. Um, okay, so let's go to image and then uh, hue and saturation. So let's let's kind of mess around in here and see what we see what we like. See bring out the the green oh wow oh wow that looks that actually looks really cool. You know what? I think I might go in a completely different direction than the other one. So okay saturation so just turn up the reds a little a little bit okay lightness 
Nah, you know what? We'll leave that the same. Okay, so let's check. Okay, that was before. That was af That's after. It's just so, so subtle. Uh, let's bring minus 10. Okay, so let's go before, after, before, after. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that. Okay, so now we're gonna click on the eye, see how it was before, how dim, and now how how bright and vibrant it looks. So yeah, now Antares, yeah, it looks like Antares got a little bit too bloated there. Um, oh, let me see here if I remember how to uh, how to try and get that unbloated um select mm, yeah i can't see i i can't remember how to do it i can't remember how to do it anyways okay let's just keep going working on the colors okay so let's go color balance let's see okay bring up the reds a bit plus five Let's do a preview. Very subtle, very subtle. Okay. Bring the blues out. And now let's go the yellows a little bit. Actually, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay. So. All right, so now I don't know this. I'm liking this image a lot better, a little bit more than than this image, because this image here, it's okay, but it kind of looks. It, it I don't know. To me, it looks flat, like it, it doesn't have as much punch as say this one, because all the individual colors in this one are popping a bit more than what's here. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Like, to me, that looks a little on the flat side, whereas this has a little bit more punch to it. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Holy moly. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let's see how we are noise-wise. Okay, there's a bit of noise. There's a bit of noise. Okay, so what we can do is we go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. I'm kind of working on an older computer too, so it's a little bit slow. That's why it takes a little bit to populate. Okay, so I'm going to go strength 5, preserve detail. Okay, and I'm just going to go preview and what it looked like. I don't know if you can tell. All right. You can't really tell, can you? Sharpness detail, go to 40. Go to 40%, see what happens. Oh, see, that, that made it, oof, that made it a lot worse, I think. All right. I'll bring that back down to, say, 20. Okay. So I'm going to back out a little bit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the strength about a, t I'm gonna bump it up to about an eight. Okay. All right. So then I'm gonna go okay. It's gonna reduce the noise. And I'll show you another way too on uh, on how to adjust or um, get rid of some of the noise. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, computer's thinking. Like I said, it's a it's an older computer. It's a little on the slow side. Hopefully, my computer just didn't crash. And there we go. Okay, cool. All right. So there's before and there's after so we're on the right track okay so uh, what do we want to do now okay we're gonna you know what now a lot of a lot of experts they don't recommend this but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to layer and I'm gonna flatten the image so it's what it's gonna do here, I'll bring this back down. So what it's going to do is it's going to take all this and it's going to flatten it back down into the background image, but it's not going to be it's not going to be this one here. It's going to be this one. This will be the new background because the more layers you have open, the more resources it uh, it demands from your system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the image. Boom. There we go. Okay. So now, what I want to do is I want to copy that. Control J makes a new layer. So, now the reason why I flatten the image again is like I said, it's it has to do with the resources of your computer. This is an older computer. I'm on a laptop. So, um, yeah, I don't. I just don't want it to slow down. Um, but uh, the way that I was doing it before is a non-destructive workflow. Uh, what they call a non-destructive workflow. So. If you if you mess up in one layer, you can just you can get, or you don't like it, and you can get rid of that layer. That's that's totally fine. You can delete it, and you can just go back to the point where you were before that. So um, let's have a look here. Yeah, wow. I'm um, I'm really liking that. Really, really liking that. Wow, okay, all right. So another way to reduce the noise is going to filter, filter, excuse me, camera raw filter. <laughs> yeah, it's thinking about it. All right. Uh, and then go into the details tab okay and it says noise reduction right here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll in come on you can do it <laughs> wow this okay there we go okay so now let's let's just let's just try something so uh, luminance, we'll bring that up a bit, and color, now you can do this a couple of times just to reduce the noise, so here I'm going to go to 33%. Okay, that's not quite enough. 12%. There we go. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to go okay. And it applied what settings I did. Okay. So now um, go control J. Make another layer. And I think we're pretty close to, to being done. So let's go into camera raw filter again. Okay. And then in the basic tab, you just want to play around with the temperature. Do you want it a bit warmer? See that, oh wow, that really, that really popped. That really, I didn't move it all that much and it just popped. Okay, so, 
All right, so now the preview is right here. So if you want to see what it was like before, it does a couple of screens. So yeah, that, oh wow, the punch on that was nuts. Yeah, that's, huh. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, that looks good. And then just play around with the magentas or the uh, the tint. Like it all depends on what you want. Okay, if you want to make it a little bit darker, add some more contrast. It's all it's all up to you. It is all up to you. This is all personal preference. Okay. Bring down the highlights a little bit. Uh, do it about 30, I think. Okay. Alright. And then you can play around with the clarity. If you if you like it a little bit out of focus, that would be like the clarity. See how it see how it plays with the it kind of looks not quite in focus. If you're into that. Hey, that's great. I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. And same with the the dehaze. If you want to add like less, I guess, more like a fog effect. If you want to make it a little bit crisper, just play around with these settings. Find your personal preference. Again, hue and saturation. You can, you can make it like a black and white picture, or you can just that that's totally exaggerated that so you don't want to play with that one too much you want to want to try and keep it looking almost as nat as natural as possible okay play around with the the vibrance you don't want to overdo it uh, right about right about there i think okay so let's go how does it look before and after? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. All right. So let's go OK. And let's watch the screen change. Boom. You notice the difference? From there to there. Okay, let's, let's compare. Yeah, see this one? Yeah, like I said, it looks a bit, it looks a bit flat to me. Uh, at the time, now mind you, I thought it looked fantastic. I still, I th still think it looks fantastic. It's just this one now with some of the new tricks that I've learned. This one, this one is a good. Yeah, this one is a punch. Wow, this one has some punch. Okay, so I think we're almost done. So let's flatten the image. Let's go back into camera raw filter. Um. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, sharpen. Uh, stylize. Noise. Okay. Dust and scratches. Okay. Okay, first things first. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost broke my own rule. Control J. Because if I screw this up, I can get rid of this layer. So let's uh, go filter. Dust and scratches. Okay. All right, you see how it softens it a little bit? Okay, let's Okay, let's make that a 2. And let's make that a 1. Okay, that's before and that's after. That's before and that's after. You know what? No, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. So I'm just going to cancel it. So then it won't apply it. It made it kind of a little too blurry. And we already um, already did that or looked at it in camera raw filter. All right. So uh, the histogram, the histogram's all over the place. Well, it's not all over the place. It's just really stretched. So I think we're okay in the histogram. But. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm wow. I'm really happy with that. I might actually, <laughs> I might actually save that one. You know what? I think I'm gonna save that one. That looks that looks good. 
That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. So I think, uh, you know, I think we're done. Um, I hope that everybody watching this uh, learned something. Like, like I said, I'm still learning with, uh, with Photoshop, but it is a powerful tool to, to bring out all that, that great detail um, in your astronomy images. So if you have any suggestions or comments or anything, please leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, as before, like I said, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, or if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But um, the thumbs up really definitely help. Uh, comments help with the, the YouTube algorithm as well. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get my channel noticed and trying to grow my channel. And um, if you're new to the channel, you know, I hope that you enjoyed your stay here watching me process uh, an astronomy image. And uh, if you like the content here, I would uh, highly recommend and suggest that uh, that you uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be bringing you more content. I like to get out in my backyard and and video me in the backyard taking images of the night sky. So um, anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. I thank you everybody for your time. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and we'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed the enjoyed this little brief tutorial on uh, on Photoshop it's not professional by any stretch of the imagination but I hope you learned something and if you learned something then my job was uh, my my job is done so anyways have a good night everybody and we'll talk to you later thanks a lot